Welcome to Omicron's first detailed education video featuring Dirana. Dirana measures the dielectric response of insulation and determines the level of water in transformers. The complete video is structured into small subsections. It covers the following main topics. The first section covers water in transformers and looks at the basics including how water gets into the transformer and what effect it has. The second section considers traditional measurement methods for water in transformers by comparing the Dirana method with older approaches. The third part investigates dielectric response measurement with Dirana. This is the main part of the seminar. User questions are discussed in part four. The fifth and final part of the presentation will sum up the features and advantages of Dirana and focus once again on measurement workflow. Firstly then, why is it important for us to know the water content in a transformer? Water can produce a number of dangerous reactions in a transformer. One such reaction is bubbling. Shown in the video, bubbling is the result of small water vapor bubbles coming out from the paper in the transformer and floating up into the oil. Ten layers of paper having 4% moisture content are wrapped around a heated conductor. On the right-hand side of the window, you can see the temperature on the surface of this conductor, that is, below the paper layers. Bubbling starts at 110 degrees centigrade. So, what will the bubbles do? They will decrease the dielectric strength of the oil. A breakdown may occur, or partial discharges will happen. The so-called bubble inception temperature is dependent on the moisture content. The graph depicts the bubble inception temperature over the moisture content of the paper. It can be noticed that even for a rather dry transformer with around 1 to 2 percent moisture content, bubbling can be expected. Since the IEC loading guide for oil immersed power transformers allows for a short term overload of up to 150 degrees centigrade, bubbling really is a concern for wet insulation systems. What else is water causing? Partial discharges can occur at lower voltages. Water decreases the PD inception voltage. Furthermore, water also decreases the breakdown voltage of oil. It depends on moisture in the oil and on temperature changes. In this case, you will have a lower breakdown voltage. This diagram illustrates the effect of moisture migration on the dielectric strength of oil. It can be observed that the temperature is decreasing, being stable, increasing, and then being stable again. During every temperature change, there is a smaller breakdown voltage compared to the stable temperature. This is because of the migration process, the migration of water from the solid insulation to the liquid insulation and vice versa. Hence, there is a decrease in the breakdown voltage. The fourth effect of water is that it accelerates the aging of cellulose. Cellulose is one of the insulation materials in a transformer and there is a lot of water contained in it. Due to the aging process, the decomposition of cellulose will be much accelerated as depicted in this graph. This shows the life expectation of paper on the y-axis, the insulation temperature on the x-axis, and different moisture contents as the parameter. For example, if the temperature is only 70 degrees Celsius and the transformer is dry, the paper will last for 300 years. However, with a water content of, let's say, 3%, at the typical temperature of a transformer of around 90 degrees Celsius, the paper will deteriorate after one and a half to two years. These various dangerous effects of water in a transformer show how vital it is to measure how wet a transformer is. It has been shown that water decreases the mechanical strength of cellulose. A measure for the mechanical strength is the degree of polymerization or DP value. The degree of polymerization tells us about the length of the cellulose molecules. Cellulose consists of a number of glucose rings which form a chain. If there is a high number of these glucose rings, there is a high degree of polymerization. For example, 1200 when the cellulose is new. The higher the degree of polymerization, the greater the mechanical strength of the paper. Due to aging and because of water, these long chains of cellulose molecules are broken into smaller chains. A degree of polymerization of 200 is considered to indicate the end of the life of the solid insulation. In this case, the cellulose nearly lost its mechanical strength. This diagram displays the age of transformers and the degree of polymerization. 
a lot of transformers had a DP below 200. On the other hand, some of the transformers were still in good condition, especially grid transformers, although they typically operate at lower temperatures. With generator step-up transformers, which operate at higher temperatures, the deterioration will be faster. In order to discover how wet a transformer is, there are at least two basic approaches. One is the dielectric response method, or dielectric diagnostic method. Dirana belongs to this group. This method attempts to derive the moisture content of a solid insulation from dielectric properties such as dissipation factor or polarization currents. By measuring dielectric response properties, there is a chance to derive the moisture content of a solid insulation from these dielectric properties. There are also chemical methods where the moisture content in oil is measured, an equilibrium diagram is explored, and attempts are made to derive the moisture content in paper from the moisture content in oil. This conventional approach has been used for 20 or 30 years. Its disadvantages will be covered in detail later. This bar graph compares the moisture analysis results of different methods applied to one transformer. It shows four different techniques in all, including dielectric response methods and oil sampling. Using these different methods, very different results were obtained. One method indicated only 0.7% moisture content, which means that the transformer is very dry. Another method indicates the transformer is wet, as it has 4% moisture content. Clearly, the results vary a lot, even if those measurement methods are state-of-the-art techniques. By applying different methods to one transformer, very different and occasionally contradictory results can be achieved. Such a low consistency does not allow the manufacturer or operator to assess the wetness of the equipment with confidence. This video intends to give you sufficient knowledge to judge, even with seemingly contradictory results, which method can be trusted and which are unreliable.